Today I wanted to show you my, uh, God, I don't even know what brand these are. See, I don't start these videos prepared at all. Prolite 600 13 watt CFL floodlights. Now these are actually cool <clears throat> because if you look inside them you'll see there's a socket in there and that they have this big thing here. So they're not standard CFL floodlights. They actually, if you grab this and you gotta kinda twist them, there we go, they open up and they actually take a uh, PL lamp which is replaceable. So these should, theoretically speaking, last pretty much forever. Inside of the base they have simply a little magnetic ballast something like one of these, a simple choke ballast, and they take a PL lamp, I believe this is the right one, I hope so, because I bought two of them, uh, 13 watt PL lamp with two tubes, and they have the starters actually down inside of there, so these should pretty much last forever. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this PL lamp here. And to see if it's the right one. This early CFL stuff is actually really good compared to the modern CFL stuff because you can replace the tubes and they got magnetic ballasts. Let's just see here. Yes, indeed. And then the top goes on like so. I'll go ahead and power this up bare without the uh, without the shroud on it. I'd like for this thing to sit flat but I guess that's not really gonna oh, there we go. Sure. There we go. So let me go ahead and uh, turn it on now. I don't know if I can get the plug in there. Jesus. Okay, now. Nope, the plug's bent. Okay. This is turning into a freak show. Here. Now. Okay, I'll go ahead and cut it off, and we'll put the reflector on. Now obviously, I chose cool white, you can, because it was a dollar cheaper, but you can put any color tone lamp you want to in there. It's pretty blink happy and it actually seems to I don't know if I'd put it in like a motion light or anything but it seems to work okay let me go ahead and cut all the lights in here off and see how it looks Okay, so right now it's dark. In fact, too dark for me to even see what I'm doing here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and power it on. And it does indeed provide a pretty good amount of light for a 13 watt CFL. That would be a 60 watt equivalent.
that was great so you can see it is indeed lighting the room area just fine So, we'll go ahead and put the other lamp together. It should be exactly the same. Now I could see these being a problem if you have a fixture that has like a metal shroud over the bulb because these are actually quite large, this whole section. So I could see that becoming a problem. Okay. I suspect both of these work. They're probably both brand new. Uh, they were $2.99 each, but they were actually not because they were half off. There were four of them, and if I would have known they were half off, I'd have gotten all four. Anyway, we're going to turn it on now. Yeah, it's about the same. So go ahead and put the Uh, what is this thing called? Shroud? Cover? I don't know, but we'll put it back on. You can kind of see the, uh, the tubes in there. Like mentioned, since these are preheat and they take a PL lamp which has its own starter in them, these should basically last forever. Anyway, uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. I guess I'll show you the label on these actually real quick. There's nothing really too interesting on them. Yeah, well that's not going to focus, but there you go.